Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I haven't really been posting. I've been busy and by busy, I mean I have been working and being really lazy. I've gotten a couple new things since last time I made a video. I have this nice little mic. Um, it clips onto my shirt, so I don't really like it because it's not really cute. But hey, I hope the sound quality is a little bit better. Um, I've recorded a couple more videos, but I just haven't really edited them or finished them yet but today's video is going to be a little different it's going to be a little bit of a story time conspiracy theory i guess i don't really know but i hope you guys enjoy so some shit happened this past week and my mind is so blown like i don't even know what to think about it so i wanted to share with you guys and get your thoughts about it because literally, I think it's crazy. Like, it's literally insane. Like, I don't know if you guys are ready for this tea, okay? Basically, I discovered via Snapchat maps that I might have a fucking stalker. Like, it is a real thing. I have some proof, but I just want to know what you guys think, so let me know. So, this all started, like, last week. I woke up around midnight one night, and I went on my phone, went on Snapchat, on the maps, and it said that this kid was literally at my house and I was half asleep. I was sick. NyQuil had me feeling some type of way. So I didn't think anything of it. I screenshotted it and went to bed. And then the next day, like I sent it to my friends. I was like, this is weird. Should I be concerned? And everyone was like, what the fuck, Hannah? Like, you should absolutely be concerned. And I started thinking about it and it is so weird that they're at my house because if you know where I live, like, I live on a private road, like, secluded from everything. My house is surrounded by cornfields. The only other houses are, like, my family. Like, my brother lives in front of me. My uncle lives next to me. So, there's a, no reason to be back here unless you're at my house. Like, it would not say you're at my house if you're not at my house. So, I think he just slipped up and went on his Snapchat and the maps like caught him so it's the next day and i already think it's weird enough that snapchat said he was at my house and then my mom gets home from kentucky that night and she notices that in our back garage like someone was in it like the lights were on and it was only me and my dad home so like if my dad didn't go in there like it had to have been me right but no i didn't go back there why would i go back there like we just have our tractor and our lawnmower it's winter why would i go back? like no um, so it got me thinking like who would be back there and then I was like oh shit like it literally said that this kid was at my house last night like it had to have been him he had to have left the lights on like he's just slipping up now maybe he was just in my back garage stealing something who knows I don't know but the reason I think he would be stalking me is because this guy has always been so creepy towards me and I have proof I literally have videos I have messages I have DMs like this kid does not give up like I literally have a video of him trying to make his moves on me and me saying no and I literally started recording so he would stop and he didn't he did not care I have DMs and messages from him trying to hit on me me shutting it down trying to let him down easy but no he didn't get the hint i guess so i just think it's super weird like it's what a coincidence that his location would be at my house and someone was in our back garage so i definitely think that's a little worrisome um i have proof that he's been creepy towards me and i have proof that he was at my house but like i don't know if that's enough to like confront him and i want to give him the benefit of the doubt because what if it really was like a Snapchat glitch and he wasn't at my house? I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. I don't know how to feel about this. I've never had a stalker. I mean, thank you. I'm flattered, but no, thank you. This last part is probably like the most crazy if it's true, but also like the most far-fetched probably. So in our rec room, we have like a sleeping bag and sometimes I'll go downstairs and the sleeping bag will be like laid out in the middle of the room. I always just assumed it was my kittens playing with it because that's where they stay and they like get into absolutely everything. And you know, sleeping bags have like strings on them so you can wrap them up and like pack them away. 
so I just assume that they like like to play with it but does it make sense for like two kittens like small ass cats to pull a giant like sleeping bag across the room and unravel it every single day I think not like what if this dude is literally stalking me and coming to my house and spending the night like should I be worried is this real is this like concerning I don't know what to do like I have proof but I don't all right, so that's all I have on my potential stalker right now, but stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated on anything that happens that's weird or if he slips up because I'm definitely going to investigate this a little bit more and see what happens because, I mean, obviously, like, yeah. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if I'm just being crazy, guys, okay? It's Pisces season. I don't know where my head is like I'm going a little crazy but it's fine um make sure you like and subscribe I love you